Good morning, students. In the previous class, we have learned about the lives of the tribal people. Today, we are going to learn about how nomads and mobile people lived. Okay, children, you know who nomads are, right? They are the people who move from one place to another. Next is mobile people. Mobile means people who move freely. That means mobile people means those, uh, mobile people are those who move freely. Here mobile does not mean your mobile phone or cell phone. The meaning of mobile here is people who move freely. Now next is nomadic pastoralist. Who are nomadic pastoralist? They also are like nomads. But when they move, they move along with their animals. Okay. So nomadic pastoralist they domesticate animals, animals like sheep or cattle, you know, to pro animal paliko. Unalaiji ki banza pastoralist. And nomadic pastoralists also move from one place to another, but they move along with their animals. They are dependent on pastoral goods like milk, milk products, meat, etc. They also exchange wool, milk products with settled agriculturists. Now, settled agriculturists, when you go on the settled agriculturists are those people who are settled in one place. They don't move from place to place like nomads. Okay, they are settled people. Okay, so when uh, when nomadic pastoralists move, they exchange they exchange. Uh, wool, milk products with food grains like rice and other products like clothes, utensils, etc. with settled agriculturists. Okay? They buy and sell these goods as they move from one place to another. So, who carries these goods for them? Yes, they're animals. They carry them on the back of their animals. Next, we will learn about the Banjaras. The Banjaras were the most important trader nomads. Who were Banjaras? They were the trader nomads. Okay. And when they travel, they travel with their families in large groups. They transport grains from villages to towns on bullock carts. Their caravan was called Thunder. Now, caravan means a group of people who travel together with their animals. Okay? And the caravan was called Thunder. It is said that even Sultan Alauddin Khilji used the Banjaras to transport the food grains to the city markets. Emperor Jahangir also mentioned this in his memoirs. Now, memoirs means written account. Okay, it is mentioned that Banjaras carried food grains on their bullock carts. This Banjaras also transported food grains for the Mughal armies also during their military campaigns. There could be more than one lakh bullock carts carrying this food grains. Okay, children, site matter, nomads and itinerant groups are there. Nomads, nomads are wandering people. You know that. Now, itinerant groups, itinerant groups, craft persons, peddlers and entertainers. Now, craft persons uh, means just like art, craft, produce goods. Right? Peddlers means uh, a person who goes from place to place to sell small items like the Gharma bani aako wala beshnu ko lagi hai peddlers haru and entertainers haru le chai ke garcha who uh, they will entertain others so itinerant groups ma chai children ko kong da raisa craft persons, peddlers and entertainers they also travel from place to place practicing their different occupations some pastoral tribes also rear and sell animals such as cattle and horses. Petty peddlers also travel from village to village to sell the products like uh, um, 
ropes, reeds, straw mats, coarse sacks, etc. Sometimes mendicants acted as wandering merchants. Mendicants means a person who lives by begging. Okay, so next we are going to do is changing society, new caste and hierarchies. Now hierarchies means different ranks. Okay, so uh, slowly the economy and the society also grew. Okay, grew in the sense progress, progress I There was a change in the economy and society. Everything progressed. And uh, at the same time, uh, uh, the new skills were also required. People with new skills were also required in the new society. Then what happened? Uh, there was the smaller caste. Okay, smaller caste or jatis. That means jatis are smaller caste that emerged within Varnas. Okay, so till now we have been studying about four classes in Varnas, in, in Varna system. But now new caste or smaller caste or jatis also emerged within Varnas. Uh, for example, uh, many sub-caste, many new caste also appeared. Okay, like Brahman, Brahmanas, like they, earlier they were just one Brahmanas. But now, Brahmanas my new caste appeared on their boy. On the other hand, uh, there were many tribal groups, okay, many tribal people who were included in the caste-based society. Aile saman tribal people or unako different unar forest ma basi rak unako or afnai society thiu. Tera abo jai slowly unar lai pani kiya gori. Ita nira main society, ita nira main caste based society ma include gorio. They were given the status of jatis. Unar lai kiya banira bolong ban unar lai kiya banio jatis banira banio. Specialized artisans like smiths, smiths. Like goldsmith, boy, blacksmith, or boy, carpenters and masons. Masons mean mystery kamgani. They were all recognized as jatis. Unar lai jatis banera recognize gari. Rati yo kule recognition de unar lai brahmanazar le unar lai. Okay, brahmanazar le je unar lai jatis banera separate recognize, sorry, recognize gari. So now uh, jatis also became very important in the society, in the new society. Next. Uh, among the Kshatriyas, okay, Kshatriyas group, uh, new Rajput clans, Kunje clan, Rajput, Rajput clans became very powerful in the 11th and 12th century, okay, and they also belong to different lineages, lineages means like unako ancestors, so unako pray ancestors, ko theory, so Rajput, so banda, Hunas, Chandelas, Chalukyas, and many others, and some of these Rajput clans, Okay, even they were tribes earlier. Okay, and uh, your clan like they came to be known as Rajputs. Slowly, they started replacing the older rulers, especially in the agricultural areas. Okay, and unale they themselves ke gonu they started creating powerful state. So among the Kshatriyas group, this Rajput clans, they held the position of rulers. Okay, slowly, other tribal people also started becoming the part of the caste system. Okay, with the support of the Brahmanas. But only leading tribal families could join the ruling classes. Now, ruling classes means um, the position of rulers, rulers' position. Whereas the remaining all uh, other tribal people, like majority of them, they had to join the lower jatis of caste society. But on the other hand, there were many tribes, very very important tribes, who did not join this uh, caste-based society. They did not join, okay? Like the tribes from Punjab, Sindh and the northwest frontier. The tribes from Punjab, Sindh and Northwest Frontier, instead of joining that uh, caste-based society, they adopted Islam quite early. Okay, Islam means the religion of the Muslims. The rules and regulations prescribed by the Brahmanas in the Hindu society was not accepted by them. Okay, they continued to reject the caste system and inequalities that was prevalent in the society. 
ओके चिल्ड्रन आई होप यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड द लेसन सो फार इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल लर्न अबाउट द गोन्स एंड द आ होम्स ओके टिल देन स्टे सेफ एंड टेक केयर